Horse show colour video. Why use horse show colour? A no ammonia dye for sensitive horses and ponies enhances dull coats to shiny, healthy, winning coats. Winner of the Australian Business Award in 2013. Introducing the horse show colour bag. Inside the colour bag, you can now use the colour bag to hold the colour, but the contents are 10 tubes peroxide, shampoo, conditioner, oil and all the other bits required to fulfill the colour. The disclaimer for the video is to demonstrate how our colour can change from a light tone to a dark tone. The purpose is to show how the product works. Before colouring, conduct a patch test 48 hours prior. Colour will stain, wear appropriate clothing and wear gloves and you can protect the white areas with a treatment or conditioner during colouring. To conduct a patch test simply place the colour on an area that's sensitive on the horse and give it 15 minutes to see if it reacts. Protecting white areas. To protect white areas simply place horse show colour treatment to avoid any staining from colour which may run into those areas down the track. For optimal results we recommend the following. Clip at least one week before dyeing to allow the skin and coat to recover. Wash out any clipper oil, hot oil treatments from the coat as it will affect the coverage. Ensure the horse is cool and not sweaty. Take rugs off 15 minutes before colouring. We cannot guarantee results if your horse or pony is under medication. And grab a friend as twice as many hands gives you half the time. Mixing. Nicole's placed the tube squeezer at the end of the tube and is rolling the tube squeezer down the tube to squeeze the content down into the bucket. Each tube is 100 grams, so it's important that you can squeeze as much of the content out as into the bucket so that you can maximise the coverage on your horse. So for today's horse, Nicole will be doing 10 tubes. Uh, just as a rule of thumb, the lighter the coat, the more colour that you'll be required to in order for it to go darker. Next, Nicole will place the content um, of peroxide, 10 volume peroxide, into the bucket. So it does have a tamper proof lid. So once you remove the lid, pour the 10 vol into the bucket. Uh, mix, generally the, the 10 vol is measured according to the number of tubes. Example, one litre, 10 tubes. Place the oil in one inside. So long as there's a minimum of 20 mils per application, that's sufficient. Then with the paintbrush supplied, mix the oil in one, the peroxide and the colour until you come to a smooth consistency. That's it. Application. As you can see, follow the dots from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 from the back through to the neck down through the points. This ensures that the colour on the heavier parts of the skin remain longer all the way down through to the finer points which need least colour. Body application. So Nicole now has uh, placed the colour from inside the bucket and with the paintbrush is starting to apply on the back where the skin is a lot thicker. So the reason Nicole started there is because it does need more time to process. So if you start on this point by the time you come back to it, it should be about an hour. Now, as mentioned before, if you can get somebody to help you, it's always going to be a lot easier to apply the colour and, and a lot quicker, but more importantly, check each other's work to make sure that uh, the colour's been applied evenly. So as you can see, Nicole has started from the top and is working her way down with the paintbrush. Now remember, the paintbrush was used mainly to apply the colour. If you just use the paintbrush on its own, you definitely will streak because it's a linear uh, effect. So obviously bear in mind that the paintbrush is just used to apply the colour and then you can go over with your hands. So as you can see Nicole slowly working her way across from the, the back through the body section and down to the top of the legs. It's important to try to remember to use as much colour as possible, uh, to use stretch out as much as you can. Try not to waste any if possible. You do need every bit of colour to cover a large horse, especially if it's a lighter coat. And the other trick is also to see if you can leave a little bit of colour 
uh, when you finish just to make sure that you have enough to go over any points or any streaking you may pick up later. Main application. As you can see Nicole has used clips to hold the hair up. Remove the clips. Now with the paintbrush firmly apply the colour onto the mane and rub in with your hands. It's very important to rub it in with your hands to penetrate the hair shaft. Bottom section application. Just continue to follow through down the bottom on top of the points. Again these areas are, can be a little bit sensitive but if you've done the patch test it shouldn't be a problem. Just make sure the paintbrush really gets in all the crevices and uh, finishes off the work from the top. As you can see the colour is starting to go a little bit darker. Uh, the longer you leave it the darker it will go. And just follow through finishing up all the sections. You can actually blend in the colour with the points if you feel necessary. But the important section is to make it look natural. Tail application. As you can see Nicole is starting to apply with a paintbrush the colour onto the tail and then with her hands rubbing in the colour. I can't stress the importance of rubbing in the colour on this thick tail. The more you can rub it in obviously the, the more it does penetrate and the better the result. So spend a bit of time with your hands just ensuring that all the colour is evenly applied from the top to the bottom and it's okay to put extra colour on there. Then with some cling wrap Firstly fold the tail and then keep it together with the clean wrap. The clean wrap is great to keep the heat inside and to help the colour process that thick hair shaft and give you a nice even result. So you can make it quite tight. It also prevents the, the tail from putting colour everywhere. Apply firmly, take off, squeeze it together, job done. Colour processing, drying time for about an hour. Note the colour will go darker. As you can see the horse is nice and relaxed, enjoying the colouring process. Nicole's just looking to see if anything needs to be touched up. Checking for streaking. As you can see Nicole's just going through all her work, making sure that she hasn't left any streaks behind and also using a thumb just to make sure to get even coverage with the colour. It does take a little bit of time but it's definitely worth the effort just to reduce the chance of any streaking. Colour application. Nicole found some streaking so with O colour gently massage it in to cover the streak. Rinse off. So with some warm water start from rinsing off from where you started by rubbing in with your hand and trying to remove any extra colour. You'll find the colour will actually just peel off and you'll start to see the dark tone underneath. Continue all the way and follow the same S technique. After colouring, with some water just rinse off any extra colour that you might find on the tail. Today we'll be using Horse Show Colour Protein Treatment. Grab a nice handful and rub it right into the tail just like you did with the colour. The objective here is to make sure you get the treatment onto every hair shaft. The important thing is that it will penetrate into the hair shaft and fix any damaged hair to give you a nice shine and even out the, the hair shaft. You can use your hands, rub it in and then also use some cling wrap to make sure that the hair becomes nice and shiny. Before and after shots. This is our horse Sam before and now after. A stunning result. Please feel free to give us a call before, during or after your colour with any questions or queries we'd love to help. Colours and kits available. Our colours available are black, dark brown, medium brown, dark chestnut, liver chestnut, chestnut, bay, palomino and clear. Our kits come in the colour bag, large horse kit, galloway kit, pony and mini pony plus the mane and tail kit. Colour Retail Range The Horse Show Colour Retail Range consists of the Horse Show Colour Blonde Shampoo, Shampoo Conditioner, Platting Spray, Shine Serum and the famous Horse Show Colour Treatment. You can find Horse Show Colour through your local saddlery or go online through horseshowcolour.com 
Special thanks to Sam our horse, Catherine his owner, Carissa Richards, Nicole Kelly for making a great video. Thanks again for watching our video and have a great day.